first, Roger begins with an adventure film called Megaforce. Well, this one is a real loser. Megaforce is one of the most confusing, pointless, and muddled thrillers I've seen in a long time. It's just an excuse for mindless stunts and chase scenes repeating each other over and over again. The movie stars Barry Bostwick as the leader of a group of mercenary commandos who are assigned to carry out a dangerous and pointless raid against an enemy <laughs> outpost in the desert. But first, he gets involved in a really dumb love affair with Persis Kambata, a female warrior with romance on her mind. I presume. Uh, call me Hunter. Target sighted and closing. Major Ben Buddha, I presume. Call me Sarah. Commander, we have traveled halfway around the world to learn how our forces will interface with yours to help destroy Carrera. I hope your plan reflects greater precision than we have seen so far. Well, there are reasons for everything that we do, Major. Is that right? And do they include leaving your guests to bake in the middle of the desert, greeted by cowboy, and be attacked by wild creatures? Well, if it's a comfortable tour you're looking for, I have connections at Disneyland. There they are in this life and death mission, and we get dialogue like women used to use in the movies 30 years ago. You're going to leave me to bake in the desert. She's supposed to be a warrior, but that's how she talks. You may remember her, that's Persis Kambata from the first Star Trek movie. Mm -hmm. I don't think very many people are going to remember her from this movie. But there is an attempt made to make this tired old plot look contemporary through a computerized display of battle plans. There is a minor trail that we could conceivably move our equipment across. And as we come up the backside, we'll use our electrics and run silent. So therefore, they can't hear us. And while they're distracted by the planes, we'll come off the mountain and punch a hole through their armor and meet the aircraft in the middle of the dry lake. The raid itself uses computerized, missile-firing, jet-propelled motorcycles. there's a tactical problem involved in having the guns on the handlebars of the motorcycle so that you can only fire them in the direction that you're going, <laughs> which means that in order to fight at all, you have to steer directly toward your enemy, and it's a little tough to fire while you're retreating. <laughs> anyway, Megaforce was directed by Hal Needham, a former Hollywood stuntman who specializes in making movies in which the characters are only an excuse for the chases and the stunts. He made Cannonball Run, a real dumb movie, a vacuum head, a complete and total waste of time. Mm -hmm. Now here he is again with lots of explosions, lots of clouds of dust, dozens of motorcycles lined up and roaring across the desert, and the movie got me so involved that I was reduced to total and stunned apathy. Well, I think I can think of another problem, too, and that mm -hmm. is the character of Ace Hunter. We saw him there in the band. a great, clever name, yeah. right? We saw him with a bandana. This is Barry Bostwick, who's been terrific in the Rocky Horror Picture Show, also in Movie Movie. He's a terrific song and dance man, but Ace Hunter, no. And the costume designer who puts him in a gold lame jumpsuit is, I think, a little bit off. Uh, <laughs> this guy should be hunting for bargains in a supermarket or something. He is not uh, Ace Hunter, the warrior. Uh, the movie wants to be a little silly and action-filled, and the director doesn't have a fix mm -hmm. on it. Uh, they should have gone one way or another, either it's parody, always the same all kinds these, of things, or go real full action. These Hal Needham movies always seem to have the same, it's as if Needham just has to get through the first hour somehow so that in the second hour he can have his obligatory shot where he lines up all the vehicles that he can possibly right. rent, buy, or hire, 
and runs them across the desert in a big line and they all do some spectacular stunt and it's I've seen it I've seen it and I've seen it and I've seen it this movie was just absolutely repetitious as far as I was concerned okay Roger and I didn't like Megaforce, the soldier of fortune adventure comedy, a meandering plot and a wimpy leader. <laughs> Two no votes for that.